It was less than two weeks ago that I did a video about our ex-manager Steve Bruce and his pathetic comments that he keeps coming out with about Newcastle United Football Club. And he's gone and done it again. But this time he's really, really pissed me off. And he's pissed a lot of Newcastle United fans off. Because his quotes in the Daily Mirror, uh, an interview with Neil Moxley, right? Again, refusing to take any responsibility for the absolute bullshit that he put us through while he was manager of Newcastle United. This guy will accept nothing, nothing of the blame. Because it's all of the people's fault. It's absolutely pathetic. Now, don't come at me saying, oh, you need to move on from Steve Bruce. Well, why doesn't this sudden idiot move on from us? Instead of, again, saying what a sort of magnificent manager he was for Newcastle United. I can't believe this bullshit that I'm reading here. It's absolutely pathetic, man. I mean, let's have a look at it. An exclusive on the Daily Mirror website. Steve Bruce hits back at Newcastle fans as he takes credit for the Saudi takeover. Steve Bruce? Taking credit for a takeover that had nothing to do with him. That was actually in the pipeline a long time before this absolute cretin of a man appeared as manager of Newcastle United. So now he's trying to take everything on board saying he was the main reason that the takeover went through. Can you believe that? Jesus Christ. Honestly, this guy... I don't know what stratosphere he's from or what freaking planet way out there in the galaxy he comes from, but it's certainly not Earth. It really isn't Earth. It's somewhere beyond our realm. Because this guy clearly sees things different out of those cabbage eyes than we know and what we see on a daily basis. So, basically, current West Brom boss Steve Bruce was not a popular Newcastle United manager. No shit, Sherlock! Uh, during his 97-match tenure at St. James's Park after 12th and 13th placed league finishes. And he said, Steve Bruce says, it's personal for me at West Brom. Uh, the Baggies Chief is plotting his fifth championship promotion. Oh, give me a fucking break. Uh, and following a chastising oh, experience at Newcastle, this one means more. Bruce did not need to worry too much, by the way, persuasion to return to management. Um, he said, I couldn't finish my managerial, managerial career on what happened at Newcastle. I'd taken too much stick. Of course you took too much bloody stick. You were shite. Gordon Bennett, man. You know, the moles that are digging up my garden could have done a better job than you, you pathetic cabbage head looking freak. Do not come at me with these crap Steve Bruce again. Honestly, man. And then he went on to say, I was being ridiculed. Well, so what were you doing to the fans in press conferences, Steve? Apart from ridiculing us when you know you were safe behind lockdown, which I've mentioned a million times in your press conferences where you slagged us off. Uh, and then he went to say, and there's nothing worse. Well, had you done a decent job, Steve, had you actually... Being a manager, we might have seen something different from you. We might have reacted differently. You can accept it if you've picked the wrong team. But I was being pulled to pieces because people were saying I couldn't take a warm-up that I had given the players too many days off. You can't write a script for what bullshit this man comes out with. I mean, he could accept it if he picked the wrong team. You pick the wrong team every sudden week, you bozo! Christ on a bike, man. When is this guy going to just leave off that he's one of the worst managers in Premier League history? Don't give me crap about a thousand games, right? It's irrelevant. His Premier League record is there for everybody to see. And it's shocking. It's absolutely shocking. Yet this goat herder of a man comes out with, had I picked the wrong team? You did it every week. You look back on videos on this channel or any other Newcastle United channel and you will see how many times we said he's, he's putting square pegs in round holes. He's playing people way out of position. Why do you think we come up with the term he's been bruised for a lot of these players? Because he never picked them in the right sudden position in the first place. What an absolute joke. Giving players too many days off. So two and a half days a week training is good enough for you, Steve. Really? 
honest to God, I cannot believe what I'm reading, man. Yes, you were ridiculed for giving the players too many days off because you did. We weren't fit. We were knackered after 65 minutes, if that. Jesus Christ. And then he went on to say, um, I knew what the team was doing on the pitch wasn't what Newcastle United fans wanted. So why didn't you leave, Steve? Oh, hang on a minute. Eight million quid had something to do with that, didn't it? You prick. And, they, and I knew they were fed up. They wanted change. But I had a briefing to keep the club in the Premier League. And we finished 12th and 13th in my two full seasons. I know we weren't entertaining or attractive to watch. I'll hold my hands up. No, Steve. We were bullshit to watch. And you got lucky on numerous occasions. Because let's face it. You know, when we look at some of the points we actually got under you, we were very, very lucky to get. And we all said it at the time. Look how we performed at places like Sheffield United when they hadn't even got a single point. We went there and we lost. One of the worst things I've ever seen in my life. How many times did that happen under you? Too many. We were pragmatic, defensive. I did what I had to do. Keeping Newcastle United the Premier League was worth something. Uh, would the sale to the new owners have gone ahead if the club was in the championship? I'm not so sure. Well, Steve, why don't you ask Amanda Stavely or Meadad or, or, you know, the Saudi Arabians about that? You know, obviously we're not to know if we were in the championship, would they have bought us? But I think they still would have. Because they know what a sleeping giant we are and they know what a feckin' failure you are. What an absolutely pathetic thing to say. You taking credit for the sudden takeover? It's... It boils me piss, and it shouldn't, but it does. Because this man cannot leave Newcastle United alone. He will not accept responsibility for the bollocks football that we played on a daily, a weekly basis. It was shocking to watch, shocking on a week-in, week-out basis that we as fans paid money to go all over the country to watch. Now, we may be stupid for doing that, but no, it's because we love our club. You didn't, because you're a Man United fan. We all know you are. But coming out with this garbage, man, I'm not going to sit there and take it up the arse from Steve Bruce. Telling us what a wonderful job he did at our club. And us fans sitting there thinking, how dare he? Absolute, how dare he? Jesus, man, I'm sick to death of it. I wish he'd fuck off out of football, mate, because he... He just doesn't seem to realise that he's one of the worst managers in Premier League history, and he never will realise. That's quite clear to everybody now. What a monumental bell end! And then Moxley puts the Geordie's loss could be the baggies' gain. Give me a break! Look where he took them last season. And then again, he goes on to say in the interview that it wasn't his fault that they dropped down the league. It was the situation that he walked into. The situation that you walked into, Steve, was West Brom were in a playoff spot and you ended up mid-table with them because you can't get a tune out of a broken fucking guitar, man. Please just go somewhere and stick some barbed wire up your ass and pleasure yourself because you are just a disgrace. Leave Newcastle United alone. It's history now. Get on with it. Get on with your poxy job at West Brom because those fans will turn on you this season. They're all, most of them already have. Get on with it and leave our club alone because we are going on to way better things without you, Steve. Way bigger and better. Anyway, I had to say it because I'm, I'm not going to sit here and, and take that off Steve Bruce as a Newcastle United fan. Never in a million years will I do that. So let me know in the comments what you think of this latest absolute dross from Steve Bruce because it pisses me off. He, he exp this is why the media turn on Newcastle United fans because he makes it as if it was everybody else's fault but his. And this is why pundits and radio stations alike get on our backs because of pathetic interviews that this dickhead's just come out with again. Honestly, man, you, you couldn't friggin' write it. You couldn't write a script for this dickhead. 
Anyway, there you go, guys. I've had me say. Um, let me know in the comments what you think. If you uh, enjoyed the video, uh, please do hit the like button. And uh, if you're new to the channel, do subscribe. Uh, it means the world to us. The channel's on the up. So thank you very much. And we'll catch you on the uh, live shows coming up this week. Thank you very much, guys. Be kind. Stay safe. See you soon. Oh! <laughs>